Hi, it's me, female, and welcome to my channel. So I went back at it again today, uh, chasing pillows. <laughs> so I went to uh, two 99 cent stores and um, found some, you know, some decent stuff. So um, I'm gonna get right into it. All right, so uh, they had the bacon. So I got the, what is this? Natural Thick Cuts Smoked Uncured Bacon, Oscar Mayer Bacon, and this was uh, $1.99. Now, for some reason, uh, the Hoffy Bacon, which is, uh, it doesn't seem to be more bacon in there, but uh, they want $2.99 for it. I'm not paying $2.99 for no bacon at the 99 cent store when I can get it for $1.99 because $2.99, you can get uh, bacon at the grocery store if it's on sale for $3, you know, so that's not much of a deal to me. Anyway, so I got two of these and it's 12 ounces, so... Okay, and they finally had my Folgers Cappuccino. So I got, let's see, one, two, three, four of the mocha. And um, I think I got two of the other kind from a different store. I found this uh, Chipotle sea salt blend. I got that. I should have gave this to my mom. I think I'll give it to her tomorrow because I'm not going to use it. I get out to her. Because um, this is all I really use. Creole seasoning. This. I use this. I use onion powder and garlic powder. And um, tahini. <laughs> The Mexican seasoning, that's about all I use when I season stuff. And then I found these real pretty uh, sunflowers. Y'all know I'm crazy about sunflowers. So I found these pretty towels. So I got two of these um, for spring, spring slash summer. So I have some um, sunflower stuff, but I, I won't break that out until later on this year when it after it gets hot all right then i found this little doohead doodad it was cute just 99 cents so i got that to go in uh, one of my things over there or either in the cabinet back here and my husband is a collector of coffee cups Okay, he just had to have this coffee cup. I said, oh, $3.99, that's a good price. That's a good price. I'm like, well, it wasn't 99 cents. So he says that these cost uh, $9.99 or $10 or something other. So he has all kind of coffee cups because coffee is his thing. He drinks his coffee at Circle K every morning before he goes to work. So he got that, and he got some uh, cheddar stacks, lays, okay, because, oh, yeah, he went with me <laughs> to the 99 cent store and Dollar Tree, so <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> he tried to hang out with me sometime. Okay, and then I got this, okay, for a DIY to make, I got three of these and um, to make uh, a reef, okay? Because these things, remember the last time, if you see my other video and I had something similar to this and I had three of them, 
And I was saying, I don't know how I'm going to get this off of this mat. Okay, well, these just pop off. They pop off just like that. And then you hot glue it onto the reef. So I'm going to do a DIY so you can see it because I did one uh, reef, but they didn't have any more of that particular fake grass. They had this kind. So I'm going to do one in this, uh, this kind of grass. And I may put some of this up there in my um, chicken wire thing that I got. Okay, hold on one second. All right, so um, then I got this kind of fake grass. And like I said, it just pops off. You just pull it off just like this. And when you put a lot of them on the reef, it turns into a really pretty reef. Because I made one and I will share it uh, one day. I may even scan, pan over to it in a minute so you can see it. Um, but I priced them at what was i at <sighs> hobby lobby i think and the one that i made i priced it there and i think it was like 30 dollars or more and um i basically made it for four bucks so yeah so i got three of this kind of grass all right then I found these really pretty flowers. Oh, and I didn't know they were the long stem. So these are really pretty. So I got two of these and then one of these. So I will add these somewhere. But I just thought those were really, really pretty. And they look so real. So those are really pretty. And then I thought these were unique. And they can go, uh, and this is, uh, it says bee garland. So this is uh, like a brown color and the beads are like a brass color. So I got two of those, two of the brass color. And then this color is green and uh, pearl-like beads. So I thought those were really unique. So I'm going to try to uh, put that on the reef some kind of way. Or just use it as garland or something uh, when it starts to get to springtime. All right. And uh, I think that's all from that bag. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's bag sitting right in front of me. <laughs> I'm looking right at the bag going, uh, I know I have more bags than this. Uh, so I got a box of cereal. <laughs> and you see, I'm just buying one box at a time, not buying a whole lot of cereal so my son don't have nothing to say. All right, and um, yeah, I got the, I, at the other, the second 99 cent store I went to, they had the French vanilla. So the other one uh, that I found was the mocha chocolate. And so this is the French vanilla cappuccino. So I got three of these. So that should last me a while. I got another box of these. The 16 pack uh, Rice Krispie treats for $1.99. So I got another pack of those for my son. Um, I got a bag of these green onions. 
I got this here uh, little bird because I got a bird cage that sits in my living room and I'm hoping that it opens up. I'm pretty sure that it does, but I'm going to be looking real stupid if it doesn't. <laughs> I guess I'll be sitting the bird on the outside of the bird cage. Anyway, and then um, I got these uh, raspberry, crunchy raspberry M&Ms for $1.99 for my husband. He likes those. And then I got six of these because um, my front yard, the ones that I had, all blew out. I only have like a couple of them that are still lighting up. So I got six more of those. I probably need to get six more because um, I have them on my porch also in some lanterns. Okay. And then I got a bag of, uh, what is, who is this? Green Giant Potatoes. And this is the eight pound bag. Yeah, eight pound bag. And these I think are $1.99. I do believe $1.99 for that. And so that is all, y'all, for my um two dollar no, not dollar tree. Two oh no, that's not all. So um, I was looking for the pillow, and so I found this, and so this is really soft and pretty, so I found this, and I'm going to put this in the den um, to drape over the couch, and this was $3.99, and it's 50 by 60, the micro plush blanket, so I got one of those, and then I went and got the beige one of these and it is a throw and it's 50 by 60 also but it was 2.99 and this is a cream color and then they just have one pillow okay and that's the only color i could find okay i wanted the gray and this kind of looks i don't know it looks Sometimes, some ways you look at it, it looks like it's beige. And then sometimes you look at it, it looks like it has a little peach or something to it. So, I don't know. But anyway, I got it. it then how much was it? This was $3.99. Yeah, $3.99. Okay. So, that was all that I picked up. And I was looking for the table, the hall table, and no one has it. So I guess I just missed out, you know. Um, so I missed out on that, um, making, seeing the table. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get on Pinterest because I got a bunch of, uh, pallets in my backyard and I'm gonna get on Pinterest and see how I can make that hall table you know because I just need one right here for my kitchen because I think this little bookcase thing that I got right there I'm gonna put that in my office because I need some shelf uh shelves in my office so that's what I think I'm gonna do and I had already made a bar out of that palette stuff me and my son uh last summer so i think it should not be too hard to make uh the uh a little table so i'm gonna see what i can come up with this weekend so because i have a three-day weekend yes i um yes i just went back to work and yes we have a three-day weekend because uh, we're off for Monday, which is Martin Luther King's birthday. That's when they celebrate it, even though his birthday already passed. Um, so the school will be out for Monday. So praise Jesus for <laughs> working for the school district. Okay. 
And so I get a three day weekend. Yes, yes, yes. And I need the three days because we have had a new student came uh, on day two and already on day two, the child cussed me out. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I said, Lord, I said, just get out, boy, get out. And then he going to um, do something, shake his shoulders in front of my desk and say, uh, you better be glad I didn't say something to you or something other. I was like, boy, bye. Get out. You know, and then the camp, the campo didn't come get him. Yeah, I put him out the class. The campos didn't even come to the class after we had called for them to come. They didn't show up for 30 minutes. I'm like, well, I'm so glad uh, he wasn't in here choking the mess out of us <laughs> as long as it took them to show up. Okay. So anyway, I'm getting, I'm mellowing out with age because it didn't even bother me when he cussed me out. I was like, boy, bye, just leave, just go. <laughs> Because if it had been back in the day, back in the day, I would have had some some not too nice words for him. But um, that stuff doesn't even phase me anymore because I don't even give them my energy, you know, because it takes too much energy to be angry and upset. So I don't even do that. I just let them just go on. Just somebody come get them, get them out the class and let them go on about their business and then, hey, you know, we continue on with our day. <laughs> and so I just basically laughed at him because it was sad. But the but more so than him acting up like that, it was sad. The kids thought it was so funny, you know. So he basically was trying to put on a show for the kids. And they were just laughing and cracking up. And I said to them, that is not funny you know, that's not funny when somebody is acting a fool like that. That's not funny. It it just shows how sad, sad and pathetic he is. And, you know, um, he's just making himself look bad and making his mama and his daddy look bad, you know. And then you sitting up here laughing like it's the thing to do. It's not funny. You know, that's not funny to see someone act a fool like that. That's it's ridiculous and it's sad because kids ought to know how to have respect for adults, you know. So um, and all of it was about me of not allowing him to go to the nurse to get a dog on uh, what do you call them things, pull tie or whatever, something to hold his dog on pants up. It was the last period of the day. You've been walking around with your pants hanging off your behind all day. And suddenly, because we're going to watch a film about Martin Luther King, you want to get out of class? I don't think so. I don't think so. So you know what? I don't have time for that type of foolishness. <laughs> so that's how my Friday ended. Y'all, because that was the last period of the day. I got cussed out. <laughs> so, but I'm all right. I'm still surviving. And you guys like my scarf? This is cute. This is one of the scarves that I had got from Fala. So I had one on yesterday, too. It was pink. This one is blue, different shades of blue. See there? And it's an infinity scarf, so it's doubled over. And um, because it's been cold here in California. And so, um, yeah, this scarf was like a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. Something like that. So I got it. And it was a discount. It was on sale right before they closed down. So I think I got it for maybe like 50 cents, something like that. Anyway, I think it's cute. So, but they ain't got no more. So I got a few colors in there because you know when I like something, I like it. <laughs> all right. All right. So that's all I have, you guys, for this uh, 99 cent store haul. And, um, oh, I was going to show you the reef. Let me show you the reef before I go. 
Hold on one second. Okay, so this is the wreath that I made, okay? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I made it out of um, those little matte things. And like I said, a wreath like that is like 30 bucks at Hobby Lobby. So, turned out really, really nice. All right. And yes, that does say Mary up there because this thing keeps falling and I got to fix it. I have to fix that because it keeps falling out of there. So, anywho. All right. Oh, and you see my man? I made him. Uh, he's black now. <laughs> All right, so that's my time, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And um, I checked my uh, homepage, and now I have 79 uh, subscribers. So I'm moving on up, y'all. I'm moving on up. It's just a matter of time. Uh-oh. It's just a matter of time before I just have so many subscribers, I won't know what to do with myself. And I'm living for the day. <laughs> all right. So that's all I have for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell so that you can be notified as to when I do uh, upload new videos. You will uh, get notified when I do. All right. So thank you again for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.